Hi, today we're foraging for nuts and uh, specifically hazelnuts. And I was driving along and I came across this tree. I'm gonna try and show you a picture from a bit of a distance shortly, but how you identify a hazel tree, I wanna talk to you about is the leaves. They're shaped similar to a lime tree in many ways. I do a lot of my foraging from a distance in terms of identification. And one of the reasons why hazels I, I can identify a hazel tree from a distance is by the actual habit of the tree. If you look, hazels don't tend to have that sort of tree shape at the base where you've got the trunk coming out and then a little bit less foliage. Like over here in the distance, you've got that sort of loose bit of clear foliage at the bottom, whereas a hazel tree is so thick right from the the ground up and that's due to the nature of the the way they grow and one of the reasons why they're so popular as a coppicing tree so if you look at the bottom here you'll see there's not just a single trunk but there's probably 50 or so trunks from this tree and this tree won't have been coppiced this is just how they grow naturally so originally there would have been just one little whip and then over time more and more sprout up so they're really thick right from the base if you're at the right time of year, you will see the, the nuts. The best way I find is actually to go into the tree and, and look up. You tend to find them most clearly from underneath. Um, and if we look here, that's what we're looking for. Oh, another telltale sign of the catkins. So if you see here, catkins, and these will obviously become bushy and furry a bit later. So I'm now going to collect up some hazelnuts. The other thing I'll say is you can usually or quite often find hazelnuts on the floor. However, nine times out of 10, they'll be hollow inside. And if I open one up, which I think I can do quickly, Let's have a look. And let you see that. No nut in there. That's all hollow. Can you see there? It's very, very small. That little tiny hole, that would have been where a little grub got in there. And he's already had the goodies. So there's nothing in there for us. But uh, the ones on the tree, different story. So I always try and get them from the tree. I don't mind getting them a bit early. Um, as soon as the, the papery casing, which is this bit, starts unfolding, as soon as that happens, they're edible. Um, that doesn't mean you want to eat them straight away, but they are edible. So what I do is I pick them when they're a bit greener, get them off the tree before the grubs and squirrels have moved. Then in. I dry them at home, just in the airing cupboard, and then store them and they'll keep for a good year once they're dried out. So, that's hazelnuts.